Hi, I'm Wes, and today I'm gonna to talk about how I make my videos. When I first started making Dr. Seuss videos, it was the beginning of quarantine and I didn't have much to do. So I decided to make some videos. Just me, ready for my debut. And my books, my bookshelf, and my camera equipment. So I set up my cameras and essentially started making videos in my dining room. This is where I record all my videos. Maybe I could help people from inside my house. Bucks and socks. When I put it on YouTube, I started getting emails, DMs from people telling me how much they love the videos, how much their kids love the videos, and that just warmed my heart. Okay, so we're gonna sit down and actually do this tutorial, I think. Um, just gotta get a few more things set up and uh, then we're gonna jump in. Cool. First of all, I use two Panasonic GH5s. One from straight on, medium wide shot, and then one as more of a close up where I can do these little asides and kind of make a little funny joke with my eyes. Is that rolling? The lens I use for camera one is a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens with a Metabone speed booster to adapt the Canon EF mount to the micro four thirds mount of the Panasonic GH5. And then I also use um, some prime lenses as you're seeing on this camera angle, as well as this camera angle. So this camera is shooting with a 50 millimeter SLR magic lens. This camera is shooting with a 7.5 Lawa. That's a 2.0 lens. Um, this is the kind of the BTS angle that I use when I want to show kind of my process. I use a, a monitor. One of the great things about the GH5 is that it has HDMI output, which isn't that common on a lot of DSLRs. So I can see what, see I'm, what seeing. I'm seeing. Oh crap. Oh! Okay, always make sure to mute that. All these little tiny things about the GH5 that are, make me really like it a lot. I use two lights. This is the Aperture 120D Mark II. Um, great light. I'm also using the light dome, putting this together. I tend to use that light for most of my interview shoots. There you go. Very flattering, just a nice softness, a nice softness. Some of the videos I don't even use any other light at all. That's just the only one you need. But for a backlight, I use this one. And this is the Yong Nuo Digital YN363. And this is a really cool light. You can see right now it's kind of a teal look. It has a little dial that lets you change the color. Ooh, look at that. But I kind of just use that as like my backlight and I sort of light the wall with it just to give it a little fun character. You can do this. You know, when I started making these, I hadn't recorded a rap in a long time. So I made sure to buy some new equipment that would help me create higher quality videos. And one of those things I bought was the Focusrite Scarlett interface. And this is what allows me to go from USB to my laptop. It has XLR as well as quarter inch inputs. You can have a headphone and a speaker output. So I use that interface to go to my computer and then I use an MXL 990. This is a great mic. The combination of that and the Focusrite Scarlett just really helped up my game. I could never tell why like it sounded better when I recorded in a studio. That little change just affected my sound so much to give it a, like a slightly more professional sound. Oh, one last thing, my headphones. These are great headphones. You can plug in any uh, eighth inch adapter into that. So you don't have to worry about if the cable breaks or something like that. And then I can also go from my, my eighth inch into a stereo quarter inch. So I have a good sense of what's going on on both sides. Also, Koss is like a local Milwaukee company. Gotta represent MKE, baby. I record in Ableton Live. I bring my whole uh, laptop set up. Just uproot everything from my desk and bring it over here. Hit record and I'm ready to go. So yeah, that's basically my whole setup. In here in my dining room, my sweetie brought me 
a hot dog. Eat lunch and uh, start wrapping some books. Can't make art on an empty stomach. Story wraps, know what I'm saying? Oh, one last thing. I wanna say thanks to all my Patreon supporters. Um, you guys are the best. I really appreciate your support. I plan to keep making awesome content for you. If you wanna become a Patreon supporter, it's patreon.com slash West Tank. We'll have a link for that in the bottom. I'll also provide a link for all of this gear, put it in your shopping cart, and then you'll have basically the West Tank setup for creating homemade rap videos. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side, guys. Peace.